Hello everyone! If you are a horror sci-fi thriller fan, then this film that is full of surprise turns and wild situations could be your next target to watch. Welcome to Kaylee King's Movie Recap. Today we are going to recap a Norwegian horror thriller film named Thelma. It was released in 2017 and allows us to see through the struggles of a Christian girl who goes on a journey to discover her inner desires while retaining her psychological powers. So let's get started. The film starts in a cold forest where we find a six-year-old girl named Thelma and her father Trond on a hunt. They're searching the forest for prey when they come across a deer. Trond aims his rifle at the deer but then shifts it to Thelma who is busy staring at the prey. Trond seems to be in a dilemma as he continues to point the rifle at his daughter but eventually gives up as the deer flees, leaving Thelma confused as to why her father didn't pull the trigger. In the next scene, we discover that Thelma is now all grown up and attending college far away from her home. We further find out that her parents regularly call to check up on her and become very anxious whenever she fails to answer their call. One day, Thelma is in her college library when a girl named Anya sits next to her. Everything is going fine until Thelma starts trembling and gets a sudden attack. Later, she visits a doctor out of concern about having epilepsy, but the doctor informs her that to know anything further, she has to run some tests and will need a follow-up from her previous doctors. The following day, Thelma is at the college's swimming pool when Anya comes to meet her. She asks about her well-being and they have a nice chat. Anya later sends Thelma a friend request on Facebook. Thelma goes through Anya's Facebook page and gets a bit upset over finding out that she already has a boyfriend. Soon after, Thelma's parents come to pay her a visit, where we meet her handicapped mother Uni. The family goes out for dinner where Thelma starts talking about their relatives, mocking them for their absurd beliefs. Her parents, however, disprove of her childish behavior and ask her not to make fun of others. When Thelma returns home, she realizes her mistake and apologizes to Trond admitting that she sometimes feels that she's above others and finds it difficult to fit in. Trond praises her for recognizing her mistake and advises her to give herself some time. After a few days, Thelma is invited to a college party where she meets Anya and her friends. Being Christian, she avoids alcohol but enjoys herself at the party. Later that night, Thelma dreams of Anya only to find her standing in front of her apartment. Thelma rushes out to meet her, but as she gets mesmerized by her face, the nearby streetlight flickers and she starts having another seizure. Anya calms her down and manages to take her back to her place. She even spends the night at Thelma's apartment. The next morning, Thelma asks Anya what she was doing by her apartment the previous night, to which Anya responds that she felt as if Thelma had called for her and thus found her way to her apartment in a drunken state. As time passes, they become increasingly close to each other. Thelma even starts drinking. One day, Thelma goes to see a dance performance with Anya and her mother. Thelma starts feeling happy when she finds out that Anya has broken up with her boyfriend. During the performance, Thelma appears to be completely immersed in the dance until she feels Anya's hand roaming around her thighs, igniting something in her. Unable to contain these strange emotions, Thelma's hands start trembling. She is on the verge of another seizure when she flees the auditorium and calms herself down. Thelma is about to leave when she runs into Anya, who has followed her out. Unable to control themselves, they share a passionate kiss, only for Thelma to break free and leave. Back at home, Thelma prays to God to help her forget about Anya. She later calls her father and confesses to him about her drinking. Trond forgives her, but advises her not to lose control and go down the wrong path. This has a significant impact on her conscience as she starts feeling disappointed in herself for having feelings for Anya and cries her heart out. Thelma goes to another college party a few days later. She tries to avoid Anya by drinking and smoking but only ends up fantasizing about getting intimate with her. However, as soon as she realizes it's all a dream and she's just making a mess of herself, she panics and runs away. Soon after, she has another appointment with the doctor who informs her that after consulting her medical journal, it has been discovered that she had a seizure attack at the age of six. This surprises Thelma as she knows nothing about it. The doctor further suggests Thelma discuss this matter with her father, who is a general practitioner and takes care of her medical condition. She also advises her to seek further testing from another epilepsy specialist. 
The next scene then takes us to a memory where it is revealed that the young Thelma once got annoyed by her baby brother's cries and unconsciously placed him under a heavy sofa using her psychological powers, only to be rescued by their parents. Back in the present, Thelma meets with an epilepsy specialist who tries to trigger her seizure to investigate the cause. During the session, the specialist asks Thelma to think about something that stresses her out, and her mind wanders off to Anya. She starts recollecting their beautiful memories, wondering if it would have been better without Anya. Meanwhile, Anya returns to her apartment and gets confused to find her music system turned off by itself. She shrugs it off and goes about her work. Suddenly, the lights flicker and before she knows it, she gets consumed by her window glass. Thelma, on the other hand, gets another attack. After the session, Thelma goes back to her room and tries to call Anya, but receives a recorded voice message instead. The specialist later informs Thelma that she is having non-epilepsy seizures caused by her repressed emotions. He further reveals that from her family's medical history, he discovered that her grandmother showed similar signs and is now admitted to a psychiatric hospital. This astonishes Thelma as she believed that her grandmother died ages ago. When she gets home, she looks for her grandmother's hospital on the internet and decides to meet her. There she finds her in a bedridden state. On inquiring further, Thelma discovers that her grandmother was suffering from a delusional mind, believing that she could cause bad things to happen. She then went insane after losing her husband, who simply vanished into thin air, and began blaming herself for everything, even giving herself cancer. She also finds out that it's his father who gives her grandmother heavy doses of medicine to keep her in a trance. After being unable to contact Anya for several days, Thelma finally decides to go to her apartment but finds nothing except for a few strands of her hair stuck on the window glass. She begins to panic as she realizes that it's all her fault because she subconsciously wished for Anya to disappear. She immediately calls her parents, tells them everything, and decides to return home. Back at her parents' place, Trond and Uni offer Thelma some tea to calm her down. But as she starts feeling drowsy, she realizes that her parents put some sedatives in her tea. Afterwards, in a flashback, it is revealed that it was the young Thelma who caused her little brother's death by freezing him beneath a frozen lake in her sleep, leaving her parents distraught. Uni was so devastated by the ordeal that she tried committing suicide by jumping off a bridge, but she survived and ended up crippled. After waking up, Trond tells Thelma about her powers that can make her deepest desires come true, even by the darkest means. Thus, to keep it under control, he starts giving her medications alongside burying her in God's devotion. In one such sitting, Thelma opens up and confesses that she loved Anya, but Tron disregards it, saying it was all just her delusion. Later that night, Thelma confronts Tron about what he did to Grandma, as she accuses him of doing the same with her, but Tron leaves without answering. The next morning, Tron is on his boat when suddenly his hands catch fire, engulfing his entire body and causing him to fall into the lake, never to return. Thelma jerks awake from her sleep and rushes towards the lake, where she finds an empty boat. She realizes what she's done and tries to drown herself, but survives as she gets a vision of Anya kissing her. She returns to the house only to find Anya's missed call. Finally getting a hold of her powers, she prepares to leave. On her way out, she heals her mother an apology for what she's done to her and leaves the house for good. The film ends with Thelma enjoying her relationship with Anya, leaving her dark past behind. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel to watch more movies like this one. Turn on notifications for more interesting content like this. Let us know in the comments which movie you would like to see next.